On sunny days like this, most everybody likes to get outside and enjoy the rays. We all know that sunscreen is a must and tanning beds are a big no no. But after being treated for cancerous skin cells, what extra precautions do patients need to take? Well, today, Guthrie Health's Dr. Yelverton explains how people who are more predisposed to skin cancer can still get out and enjoy the summer. Just yesterday, this photo of an Alabama mother went viral on Facebook. Only 27 years old, she has had six abnormal cells removed. Rates of skin cancer nationally are increasing pretty dramatically. Uh, we're seeing a lot more in younger folks. Um, you know, I've treated people as young as, as in their early 20s. And for young women like Tawny, who may have occasionally went to a tanning bed growing up, you may want to think twice. Just one indoor tanning session increases your chances of developing melanoma by 20%. And we know that the ultraviolet light in the form of sunlight or tanning beds uh, is a known carcinogen. Any little amount could cause cancer. Don Walker from Corning is almost 90 years old. He has been battling skin cancer for years now. I went to the eye institute at the Rochester Hospital and they've had me back several times. Don has had over 10 surgeries on his eyes, leaving behind scars and poor vision. I think I, I feel very fortunate with the doctors that I went to. Um, the very first one was the right guy. If you've been treated for abnormal skin cells, Dr. Yelvelton says you can still enjoy the outdoors. Just hang out in the shade. Try and avoid going out in the sun in the middle of the day. And if you can, plan your outdoor activities for the morning or the early evening. If you've had suspicious lesions removed or have a family history of skin cancer, I recommend using at least a number 30 uh, SPF and reapply every couple of hours that you're going to be out. And the real key with sunscreen use is you want to put it on nice and thick and, and do that reapplication. Checking your skin at home is important too because prevention is key. If you want to look for two things, one is a spot that changes in some way. So whether it gets thicker, darker, changes to a different color, gets itchy, bleeds, anything like that. And the other thing I tell people to look for is what's called an ugly duckling, which is a spot on your skin that just doesn't look like anything else on your body. If you've had unusual moles or spots removed, remember to visit your physician once a year to get a checkup. And always wear sunscreen. Reporting and courting, Jennifer Sheehan, WENY News.